Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. It is now April 9th of 2024, and given that the Walt Disney Company is not looking good for this year, and it's most certainly not looking good for 2025 and beyond, given that Bob Iger's lack of leadership skills and his continued way of lying to not just the customers, as he likes to call them, but also the shareholders, that's really just going to show you exactly how incapable Disney truly is to make a valuable product, something that is catered to a fan base or a specific community that would actually gain them a decent profit. Now we know that the Marvel Cinematic Universe is already in shambles and Disney in general when it comes to their live action remakes on the horizon such as Snow White 2025 is already a recipe for disaster for the middle of this decade. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So one thing about Bob Iger is that he is actively in damage control for all divisions. It doesn't matter if it's Lucasfilm, Marvel Studios, Pixar, Walt Disney Animation Studios. It is not looking good at all for the second half of 2024 and basically each and every earnings call that we get every couple of months it really just begins to make you wonder what's going to happen with the whole Nelson Peltz situation once he goes back into this proxy situation as well in 2025 unless things change, which I highly doubt that. Now, looking at Jenna Ortega, there's been a lot of things happening behind the scenes with her overall battle against Woke Disney and what's going on with their overall strategy with their agenda and their usage of DEI. Let's get into it. Now, specifically with Bob Iger, already heading into serious damage control over the recent productions related to both Marvel and Star Wars, showing less support from fans. One major development now has to do with actress Jenna Ortega and how she is already wreaking havoc at Disney's multiple divisions, and rightfully so. A massive update to this situation actually puts Disney in a worse position than before, as Ortega not only recently dropped out of a three-movie deal for Pirates of the Caribbean, as we previously discussed, that Disney was banking on those films to star Ortega to rake in revenue from fans of Jenna, but also Ortega recently canceled her entire five movie deal altogether with the Walt Disney Company, which surprisingly included a new animated film that was planned to be just as big as Frozen. However, to top things off, a new Marvel film as well, shockingly, that they were and still are begging Ortega to get involved in as one of the main leads. This untitled Marvel movie that Iger and Feige knew would sell like hotcakes, way better than, of course, before, unless Ortega was involved, if earning anything at all, was a film slated for Marvel's Phase 7 that would introduce Ortega into a multi-Marvel film contract that was also discussed with her agent and manager. However, Ortega recently shot down this offer after a six month negotiation and battle with both Disney and Marvel Studios as her argument on the side of the table was that unless they dropped their agenda and their usage of DEI, she would be unwilling to enter into the Marvel Cinematic Universe as she has witnessed what it actually has turned into, as she did not want to jeopardize her career. Between her withdrawal from the Pirates movies, the new untitled major animated film, and the plan for her to gain a multi-Marvel film contract, all went sour. Disney analysts recently already informed those like Bob Iger and the board of directors in the recent emergency meeting that this already resulted in billions of dollars in revenue lost due to Ortega exiting these projects as they were banking on her success as an actress and her familiarity and her followers into becoming new potential fans of Pirates, Marvel, and just Disney in general. Disney's current strategy is to bring in a new It Girl or multiple It Girls in Hollywood that are up and coming and have already had great success in the industry while also paying the actresses lower income than normal than those with higher stardom power like before a couple of years ago. Ortega also bailed out of these projects since Disney was unwilling to increase her payout for Pirates of the Caribbean reboot the new animated film, and what was discussed for this new untitled Marvel movie that would be female-focused that would open the gateway for Ortega into making multiple movies for the MCU. 
with Disney analysts already ignoring Disney that this was a loss of billions of dollars worldwide for all films that would have gained at the box office as Disney believed. This all occurred after their recent emergency meeting, by the way. Already Disney canceled two Pirates reboot movies, dwindling it down to one. They also canceled the new animated film that was specifically catered toward Jenna Ortega, as they believed a recast was just going to be flat out impossible. As for her involvement with the Marvel Universe, this is the last straw for Ortega's connection with Disney as her agent and manager are already giving Disney the heads up that she will not get involved in any MCU project, period, the end. They will become controversial and the end from the general public and its core fan base as she aims to make a move away from horror-based films as well as drama films. So I don't know if you guys knew this, but we talked about this about five months ago that Ortega is desperately trying to move on from horror-based movies and drama-driven films to kind of get her, you know, overall stance into the superhero movies, whether it's, you know, from Marvel or DC, whatever have you, she wants to get involved. And Disney really, you know, went ahead on that offer and really discussed this with her over the past six months. And it's been an ongoing tug-of-war situation. I don't know if you guys have been following as long as you have, but a couple of months ago, there was a massive shift when it came to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. A lot of cancellations by Bob Iger, uh, a lot of movies were axed in response to what happened to the Marvels, in response to the ongoing box office disasters, uh, not just in 2023, but also what's looming now for 2025. You know, Disney and Marvel already know that a lot of those movies slated for next year are not going to do well because they're already pouring extra money into these things with reshoots and rewrites and all that stuff. And Captain America 4, I think, is notorious for that right now. I mean, they're really going through a lot of changes and a lot of revamping right now. A lot of uh, changes and revisions, specifically within the second act of the film. So, I think that Jenna Ortega made a great move here. I think it was a much needed move to have somebody that was previously associated with Disney years and years ago, well before Disney went downhill and to realize what Disney has become, somebody like Jenna Ortega at least has brains in this scenario, where she is actually going against them and warning them that the final straw is with the MCU really kind of going in with that, uh, that agenda that she is not gonna put up with, period. So that's basically what's going on right now. She's basically done with Disney altogether. Her whole five movie contract, which consisted of those three movie, um, movies, of course, catered to Pirates of the Caribbean, the one animated film that Disney believed would be as big as Frozen, and the starting of the involvement for her in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's basically what they were trying to do, and it didn't work out in the long run. This is another familiar face, another actress slash actor that really just wants nothing to do with Disney, and I believe you're going to see more examples just like this once you see more box office disasters on the horizon where any actor or actress that gets an offer from Disney, they're not going to want it. Nobody's going to want it anymore, and that's what it's turning into. So overall, I would love to hear what you all have to say about this below in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.